Hi loves! So I thought this would be fun to do. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of a haul here. Um, I have a ton of new pens and I went shopping yesterday as well at one of the nearby stationery stores and picked up a few things I'm really really excited about and I thought it'd be fun to just show you and like you know I love doing these and maybe this will make me happy or for today <laughs> you know what I mean I'm not in the best of moods so maybe this will lift up my spirits I guess is what I'm trying to say um so anyways first up these guys right here so I actually from this store everything that's in the bag I actually placed an order and I I ordered um pencil boards like the actual hobonichi pencil boards because um on Amazon they're like $20 a piece but um, from Anderson Pens, it's only, you know, retail price. So I got the A5 or the one for the cousin and actually got the one for the weeks as well, which is in my weeks. It's not here at the moment. That's in my purse. I should probably go get it, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I just got the pencil boards. I ordered it from them. And I also ordered this. And I think something else. I don't remember. Again, it's probably in my purse somewhere. Um, but this is like the... Um, week's notebooks and it comes in a pack of three. I didn't open this one yet um, So yeah, I ordered from them and then realized oh my gosh, they're based in Appleton, which is super close to me. So I went yesterday and Bought a few things, but before we get into that, I thought I'd share with you what I got on Amazon um, recently their Hobonichi drawer pouches and I think just like the mini bags are 50% off. Some of their covers are 50% off as well, so I'll link that below. I don't know if it still will be by the time you're seeing this video, but everything will be linked in the info box below. You guys know me. I like, I link things just so you guys can find it easier. Um, anyways, this is like the mini pouch that they have, and I actually got the medium size, and I really like that. Um, actually, let me go get it. It's in my purse. Alright, so my husband and my son are home, obviously, and they're playing video games. So if you hear something, sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the other pouch that I got first, and I really, really love it. As you can see, much bigger. And I saw they had a smaller one, and I thought, how cute. As a wallet, really. So I just got it. It was These are half off, so they're very inexpensive at the moment. Um, this is what this one looks like. I really like it. Again, I had this in my purse. I can fit the Tombow brush pens up here. It's pretty tight, but I mean, you're able to zip it, which is nice. And then I just have that there. I could totally put something there too, but in here I just have pens. I wish I could put these in here, but they're too tall. But I just have pens in here and scissors, tweezer. So, yeah, it's like my, I don't know. I had it with me yesterday um, for some reason. And it's not super heavy, so I like that. And then this is my weeks. In here, like I said, I had the pencil board that I had ordered. Hold on, right here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I got this one. Obviously, much smaller. I just thought it was cute, and for half off, why not? And it actually reminds me of my current wallet at the moment. Like, the whole layout of this. So I'm like, this would be perfect. This is actually much bigger than my current wallet, so... Love that. Like, I, I just think this is so cute. So, yeah, I'll link it below. I like this pattern. I wish the inside is more of a neutral color, like a beige, but I mean, the coral doesn't really bother me. Like, it's still pretty cute. Okay, anyways, my husband is awesome and got me all these pens. I think I showed this to you guys on Christmas, but these he actually got me and they arrived later. Um, like, uh, the day after Christmas, I think it was. So, yeah, so excited. It's the Sarasa brand. And I couldn't decide between the two colors, so he just got me both. <laughs> and then I thought this would be just fun to have. Especially the white. I've been seeing a lot of people do, like, black paper with the white gel pen. And I always thought it was so cool, and I don't have any white gel pens. I'm like, all right. This would be fun. So I got these pens and we'll swatch all the pens today in this video too. I think that would be fun. Okay, so those are the pens. And then this is everything that I picked up 
yesterday and oh, I'm trying to do a no spend um, this month so I feel like this is my last haul y'all like I literally went shopping and I, and it was the last day of the year so I was like okay last hurrah <laughs> for the month at least so wish me luck by the way you guys know me I love buying things but I told myself you don't need any more things you know I mean I'm gonna go grocery shopping but and like things for the house you know like laundry detergent things like that but I told myself no buying unnecessary things so anyways okay this is everything I got so as you can see I have the Tumblr River paper the loose sheets A4. I actually have this in white white um, because I had no idea there was a white and a cream. And the cream just goes well or much better with, you know, the weeks. And I think, okay, okay, so this is the Cousins. So the Cousins white, the weeks is like a cream color. And I think the A6 is also white. So it's kind of a good thing that I, I have the white and then now I have the cream, which is nice. Um, but this is just for me to use if I am to make any inserts um, or like tip-ins instead of actual thick, you know, like printer paper. This is much better because it's the same quality paper and it's that same thinness that I just love. Um, yeah, and also this is like sold out ever online. So I was really surprised to find it at the store. And yeah, they didn't, they only have one more, I think. I should have just bought it, but it's fine. There's like a hundred sheets in here. Like, what am I gonna do with a hundred sheets? Another hundred sheets, right? Okay, anyways, I also got this. Oh, I'm supposed to split this with Anna, so. Um, but this is just uh, vinyl pockets. And there's six in here. And this was $5.99, so not bad. And again, I'm splitting this with Anna. She gets three, I get three, so. Yeah, let's just open it up. I'm sure she won't mind. I just want to see what the side looks like. It says right here, they're corner pockets and then an actual pocket. I just want to see if it would fit. Okay, so it just looks like, like that. And you would put something here. So that's nice. It's bigger than what I would love but it's fine these are always hard to find sometimes i find them at um joanne or hobby lobby or even michael's but most of the time i, I don't find them so anyways this is the other one this is like a corner pocket like that so this would be good for the cousin to be honest and maybe even the a6 or something wider definitely wider um than the weeks so yeah i might i might I'm liking that. Okay. Next here, I got this. This is Midori. And you guys know I love Midori. And had a ton of different stationaries. And I got the black cat because it reminds me of our um, cat that who passed away um, the year before Liam. So, yeah, I miss her. So, this, when I saw this, I think it was on their website too. So, I'll link everything, by the way. Um, this store has a website. So, if it's on there, I'll link it. Um, but yeah, I saw this on their site and I was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna pick that up at their store and I love it. This reminds me of Kitty and there's cute little bows in the envelope and then it's not an actual card or like paper and I love this. It just reminds me of like the old style stationaries and yeah, I couldn't pass it up and the cute little kitty there. So yeah, also reminds me of Gigi from Hickus Delivery Service and Love that. It could be Luna as well from Sailor Moon. I love black cats. Okay. And then you guys know I love Midori notebooks. And I don't know if I need another one. But I got this because, I don't know. It's, it just, I keep gravitating towards it. I honestly I kept looking at this on their website. But I was like, I don't, do I need it? Do I need it? But I think the A5 that I have by them is lined. And I'm not really a fan of lined notebooks i think that's why i never use it i don't know i have to look but i love this small size and i thought how cute and this is the, the cotton one um so when i actually touched this in person in real life in their store it was so soft so let me just let me just gonna open it so i can show you i mean you're not gonna see how soft it is but you know what i mean like look at that it's just and then you take this off 
Okay. And it comes with this. Oh, there's like a little cover on it, like vellum. Almost like that rice paper thing. Pretty, I think I'll just keep it on there to be honest. It's not really an issue to keep it on there. But yeah, this is just, Midori just has one of the softest paper as well. I just, I just love Midori, so yeah, there you go, just blank. Love it. Last but not the least are these pens. These are kind of a splurge, but it's cheaper than the fountain pens that I want to get. I didn't get any fountain pens because I told myself I should practice more with the one that I got um, and really see if I like it. So I didn't get any fountain pens. Um, if I do, I really want um, the one by Sailor pen and it's just beautiful there's two of them that i want and i'll pop a photo right here right 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 here <laughs> right here or right here i don't know i'll pop a photo um but it's just so beautiful so that's on my wish list um but yeah again i need practice with fountain pens so both pens that i got are just like normal pens you know so let's do this one first so Anna and i got matching pens this one is really pretty i wish um, they had more of a brown color because you guys know I like my neutrals but if you've been following recently I've been really into greens so I was like oh, I really like this one are you ready are you ready look at that isn't that so pretty oh my gosh what's in here oh like a little thing like isn't this fancy though like comes with the box and everything so Here's this pen it is by the brand Cross and it just looks like marble and this is actually like embedded in there or embossed so the gold on it is just stunning. I love it. And take the cap off. And again we will pen test shortly so yeah so this is pen number one <laughs> so yeah Anna and i got the same one so we have matching pens i really love this one they had it in blue as well but it was like a really bright oceany blue and this one's a little bit more neutral so i was like all right i'll get the green one yeah now we have matching pens i love that and then this one is another pen that I've been kind of eyeing up. It looks like the one that I really, really wanted like for the fountain pen, but this is like the pen version of it, I guess you would say. So it is by Sailor. Um, I did look at the Sailor fountain pens there and they're just beautiful. But like I said, I need more practice to really figure out do I want to invest, you know? Anyways, this is this one. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay. So it's ivory or cream. I don't know. It doesn't say... Oh, right here. I should say here. So, 1911 GT ballpoint pen, ivory, and it's a 0.7 um, in there. And I did test it out, and it's not actually that thick. Like, it, it writes finer than I thought it would. And this just feels really good on hands, so I couldn't pass it up, and it wrote really well. Same with the other one. That one actually seemed a little bit thicker than this one. So I think that one's a 1, and then this one is 0.7. So, yeah. Very happy with this. Definitely going to be the pen that I carry around. I really like the fact that it is a twist. Um, just because, like, I don't want to, like, you know, if you're on the go, I don't want to be fussing about um where's my cap or pen cap and stuff like that so this is like perfect i love it so yeah again we'll pen test like shortly let me just put everything away and get situated and then we'll do a pen test all right so i have my 2021 hobonichi that i've just been kind of you guys know i do pen test in the back here i don't have any trackers oh i did have a tracker back here i don't think i ever showed you guys this but this is like how i was tracking what manga i was reading and then I stopped. <laughs> but it's pretty much just like where I pen test. And then washi, more pen tests. Um, that 
Also, this is where I uh, planned out the trackers that is going in my 2022 planner, which by the way, I'll do a video launch soon. But yeah, I was just like, you know, doing all that, trying to figure out what I want to do for each tracking thingy, but I still have a ton of pages left. So anyways, we're going to pen test and I'm just going to do it. I'll just do it back here. That's fine. Okay. I hope the lighting is okay. It's starting to get very, very gloomy out. Okay, so we're gonna pen test this one first. So this is the actual name of it. It is Cross Roll Rolling Ballpoint Pen Stylo Roller. Um, that's all it says. It doesn't really say what, how fine it is or whatever, but it's like a gel, to be honest. So it still has it still has that little thingy there. Brand spanking new guys. Oop. Okay. So exciting. And this one also feels really good in your hands. This one's actually heavier than the Sailor pen. Um, so anyways, let me just, how am I gonna do this? All right, so this is again, cross. So you can see it is thick. So looks like it's drying pretty quick, but I wouldn't risk it. It will, this is definitely something that will smear. So with this one, I feel like I can use it for everything else but my weeks, just because, I mean, it doesn't really bleed through. There's a little bit right there, um, but it's just, too thick, I think, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna, it will smear, but I do really like it. Very pretty. I feel like I can't write small with these kind of pens because they're so thick. Um, so yeah, they're just fun to have. So that's that one. It's like a special pen for me, you know? And then this is Sailor. This one is ballpoint. Is it ballpoint? Or I know it's not rolling ball pen. Yeah, it's just a ballpoint pen by Sailor. So this one is Sailor pen. I love how this writes. 1911. GT. So I like this one. This one I can definitely use in my weeks because it's not gonna smear. <laughs> and I can write pretty small with it, so that's good. So again, this is definitely the pen that is going to be for on the go, something that I carry with for sure. So it's not totally black. You can see this one's really, really black. Um, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, not a whole lot of shadowing. Oh, that one already smeared right there. So that one is still wet. Um, but yeah, this one is definitely a winner. Um, definitely something I will use all the time. I love it. And I love that it's like an ivory color. So it's like a really good neutral. It will match all my other planners and covers. Okay, so now let's do... The Le Pen, since I got this one first. So this is a pen set that we actually found at Walmart. And it was $12 at Walmart. And this is the pastel colors. You can see right there. I'll try and find it and like link it for you guys. And this is 0.3. So that's great. It's really, really fine. I actually did end up using this in my 2022 um, tracker thingy. So here we go. So the thing is, there's no colors on this. It's just, this is the pink one. This is the Le Pen. So again, this is um, kind of, it's a felt tip. So very similar to the Micron Sakura pens. But 0.3 though, so very fine already. So that's that one that's like a hot pink. And then here's the 
More so like a creamy pink, like a coral almost. Oh, it is a coral. So you can see right there. I really like this one. It's like very nice and peachy. Here's a really light pink. This is nice. You guys know me and my light pinks. Ta-da. You can barely see it. Okay, here's the yellow. This one's fun. You wouldn't think you can see it, but hello. There she is. Really nice, bright yellow. And then we have this, like a creamy mint. It's really pretty. Hope you guys can see this. I feel like my camera is closed, but also very far. So let me, is that better? Okay, now we go into this like really nice sky blue. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty, but like see now it's, now I feel like I'm so close that it's kind of dark. So yeah, there you go. That one's pretty. All right, sorry about that. I had to stop because my camera died. Anyways, we're back and this is the periwinkle and it's really pretty. I like this one. This one, I can definitely see myself seeing quite a bit just because you can really see it and like read it easily. These right here, like from here to there is like really, really light pastel -y colors. Um, kind of hard to read, you know? So yeah, this one, I absolutely love this periwinkle color. Next, we have a really pretty purple color. It's like a pastel purple so pretty this one i would definitely use as well very nice and easy to read love that and then we have i would say teal really nice teal wow i don't think i tried this one yet at all because like i said i use some of these in my 2022 planner but i haven't tried this and that's really nice I love that teal color so that's that one and last but not the least is a gray I love this one I used this in my planner already and yeah I just really like it because sometimes I don't want black I just feel like black is so harsh sometimes so now I have a gray that I can use um, and a brown you know love that so that's um, all the Le Pen pens Again, this is what the Le Pen pens look like. I think they're really nice, very sleek, and it was only $12 at Walmart. And they did have other colors as well, like darker shades that you can get. I just gravitated more towards the pastel because you guys know me, I love fun colors and especially pastels. Love that so much. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Since we're doing pastels, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one. So this is the Sarasa milk color and it is a 0.5 mm i forget how much this was on amazon i want to guess under seven or eight dollars it wasn't that pricey maybe around six i'm not sure um but i don't know i guess thought it was really pretty looking and i just wanted to honestly try it out i don't have any zebra pens and i keep hearing about them so i was just like let me just try them out so yeah my husband got this for me so i believe there's like different colors of this or you can probably get them separately but just went with the the pack um okay so let's try them out so here's the blue one. Oh, they still have the little thingies there I never know where to put those. Okay, so this is the light blue. This is the... Oh! Oh my gosh! I love how these write. What? Sarasa milk color. Okay, it's kind of... I'm not sure if you can see that, but it was kind of skipping for a bit. But I think... Kind of skipping, but I think the more you use it, it will be okay. I hope that's the case because it feels good on the paper. I like that it has a little bit of a grittiness to it, but yeah, as you can see, or I don't know, can you see it that close? 
it's not it's skipping so that's the blue let's try the green okay so this one oh there it goes it skipped it skipped I think you just gotta write more with it and then it'll be fine so this one isn't skipping anymore oh there we went skipping a little bit on the again this is the Hobonichi Weeks that I'm trying these out on yeah that's skipping a little bit but not too terrible they might just all do that I'm not sure okay here's pink running out of space here too okay here maybe oh it skipped a little See? Skipping. Why? I find that sometimes mm. pens skip on the Tom River papers, but it doesn't skip on others. So I wonder, because that's not fun. That's skipping. I wonder, let's try it out on normal paper. All right, so I got normal printing paper and I'm just gonna, see, no skips. A little bit there. Okay, so maybe it's the paper in the weeks that's making it skip because that looks really good right there. Yeah. So it's the paper. I knew it. There we go. Okay, let's do the orange. So, I mean, I can... I'm sure it'll be fine in the Midori. Oh, these are so pretty. Yeah, it's not skipping at all a normal paper, but hi, baby. Do you need to go potty? Tell daddy. Oh, this one isn't skipping on there. Let's try these out. That skipped a little bit. That one better. I think he's gonna keep writing with them. I don't know. Oh, that one skipped too. Hmm. It's skipping. Yeah, it's the paper. Okay, last but not the least, we have the white. I don't know if this is gonna show up on white, white paper, but I see it like a shadow. And um, I don't think you can see that. I definitely don't know if it's skipping on there, but it's white. <laughs> so that's fun. So I got these pens, right? They're the milk color um, Sarasa pens, and it's a pack of five. All right, so next I have more Sarasa pens. These are also zebra. Um, these are the vintage color ones, so again, I got pretty much both I think these are the only colors they have so um do 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 there's this vintage color color the first one and then this one's vintage color two so we'll do the, this one first and then two and now I'm hesitant on testing it on the weeks because the Sarasa ones didn't do amazing I mean it's fine but it's kind of skippy um but they do well on normal paper so i don't know we'll just we'll still test it on here that's okay so here we go so again this is the vintage color i want to say one <laughs> um yeah and they come in a pack of five i think for both packs it was like 11 bucks so not too terrible and i do really like um their little clip thingy like that. Also, that they're clickies. I think it makes it just easier. 
to be honest. Um, especially for on the go, if you want to bring your pens, these are more convenient. Oh my gosh, I couldn't get the thing off. Okay. Anyway, so this is the dark blue. So this is the Sarasa. Um, I'm just going to write here. Vintage color. And these are 0.5. Oh, so far, no skip whatsoever. So again, this is the dark blue. Oh, so far, these, no skips. Okay. So that's like a really dark blue, and then we have a lighter blue here. Can you see the difference? Oh, I like how this one is muted and I do like writing with it I love that that's that one and then we have like a forest green I'll do a smear test in a little bit too oh wow I do like this one see that's why I wanted these um colors because I'm like I'm in this mood right now like all of these dark colors I just I just love it so this one's like a true brown oh yes I like this a lot I wish the micron um, brown pen that I got is this shade of brown because that one pulls a little more towards orange. I like this more um, cool tone brown. And last but not the least is this burgundy maroonish color. Oh, this isn't so bad. I'm not a huge fan of red. So I do really appreciate and love that this is more cool toned. And it's not so out there. And I can actually see myself using this. It's more leaning towards brown, to be honest. So that is vintage color number one. And then we have here number two. And let's see. Yeah, these are totally different colors, which is really nice. The only one... Oh, no. Even the reds are different. So this is a brighter red, more like a raspberry. And then this one... It's almost like a green, but it's like a black. I don't know. I really like that. So yeah, again, this is vintage color number two now that we're testing out. Oh, it has a thingy. I keep forgetting they have these. When you do pen test, what word do you write over and over? I've just over always written hello, so that's just what... I do, but anyways, I really like this. It's like a black, but muted down, like that. And then here, I'm guessing this is gonna look more towards gray, but it has that blue undertone. Yeah, so it's gray with blue undertone. It's really pretty though, I like this. I love all of them so far. I can definitely see myself using them all. Love that. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. And then we have here more so like a plum color. Gosh, these are so hard. To f Some of them are, don't just pop off, they're like glued on. Um, but yeah, really pretty plum, it seems. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I think it's writing weird because it still has the some red on the tip there can't get it off so this seems to be the only one that's skipping probably because of that red thing but it's writing better yeah there we go plum i love these highly recommend these so far we'll see how these they work like right away if they smear anything though i'll do a smear test shortly so this one is 
I want to say raspberry red. It's really nice that these aren't bright. I love that. So yeah, I would definitely use that. Love that color. And now we have the mustard color. This is the last one. This one looks fun. <gasps> okay, I really like this because honestly, I don't have anything that's color at all. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> so, this is exciting. Oh, I'm so glad I went ahead and told Tom to get both packs. <laughs> oh, I love these. They're so, so good. Okay. Let's see if these will smear. I mean, it's been a while. Oh, yep. You see that? It's smeared. It's smeared right there. Smearing a little bit. Yeah, it smears. I mean, just give, though this one didn't. This one's dry. Oh, smeared there a little, little bit. Um, yeah, okay, hold on. Let's do, oh, by the way, this is, what we tested earlier, like the back. So you can see not too much shadowing, especially with the pastel -y colors. Not too terrible. Um, with this one, not too bad either. I mean, I feel like everything is gonna shadow, um, but more so something like, like that one that's definitely gonna leave a shadow. Um, just honestly, to be honest, I think it just really depends how hard you right and stuff like that so anyways um this is this one and then i'm gonna pretend to like write some more before we smear that okay ready yeah that one's smeared mm. this one not so much okay so definitely need some drying time, which to be honest, I don't mind. I always try not to touch it anyways, um, whenever I'm planning. So I, you know, I don't mind. I guess pretend that um, everything is gonna smear to be honest. So I don't have my hopes crushed, you know, when it actually does smear. Um, but yeah, so, oh, that one dried. That one's a little smeary there. A little bit. I mean, they don't smear that terribly. So, totally happy with these Sarasa Vintage Color pins. Again, everything will be linked down below. But yeah, that's it, you guys. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. You don't even know. I can't wait to put these in my pen organizers. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. And um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And I, yeah, I'll wrap up this video now. Thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys soon in my next one. Hopefully my next one is my planner setup. <laughs> we'll see. Bye, guys.